Welcome to the Bentley Systems training course where you will learn how to design column cap brace gusset connections according to the AISC specification. New in RAM Connection 2023, we've added the ability to use vertical bracing connections that will now have the option to assign a gusset connection at column ends without the need for workaround solutions. To model this type of joint in RAM Connection standalone, Select the Home tab in the Ribbon Toolbar and click on the new icon. Here we're going to select the Column Tap and Base Joint Group and you can see the new Column Cap Brace option is now available. If we were to proceed on to the data in the loading areas, we'd be able to specify a variety of pieces of information. Here you can see I've already created this type of joint within my model and I've already told the program I'm planning on using the AISC 360 to design this connection. I am now ready to proceed with the design and to do that I'm going to select the design tab in the ribbon toolbar and click on the assign icon. When I select the connection assignment I'm going to look for the column top and base and ensure that the column cap brace option is selected. Here we'll select this gusset connection and click on the assign button. Now RAM connection has gone through the assignment and has successfully assigned a gusset to this joint. Let's go ahead and take a closer look at this connection design through the connection pad. To access the connection pad, go to the design tab in the ribbon toolbar Click on the edit icon and then you can edit your gusset connection. All of the information that you specified within the RAM connection main interface such as your design code, your loads, and your section properties have automatically been brought into the connection pad. In addition to that, there's a variety of parameters that you can customize per your detailing requirements or preferences. Let's go ahead and take a look at some of those options. Here you can see that you can customize your cap plate information. We can also take a look at the interfaces for our lower left brace and our lower right brace if applicable. Here you can see you can customize the gusset size. The gusset to the brace connection, right now I have this set to bolted. I can change this to welded if I wanted to and then the connection would appear as that. I can select a weld return and specify the welding information. I can also take a look at the gusset to beam connection. Here it's automatically set to welded and I can see the size of the weld. Let's go ahead and make that same change on the other side. Let's go with the lower right brace. I'm going to select the gusset to brace connection and I am going to go with weld it. Now in addition to that, if I were to scroll on down, I could take a look at the beam information. Let's go ahead and scroll on down. And we're also going to notice that this type of joint allows for transverse stiffeners if required. So if my interaction ratio is greater than 1.0, this might be an area I might check to get to a passing connection design. If you select this option, you can see transverse stiffeners have been provided. You can customize the material properties, the size of the stiffeners, and their position. For this connection design, it worked without stiffeners, so I'll go ahead and leave that off. Now, after modifying the properties for this particular connection towards my detailing preferences, I can take a look at the DXF view of this drawing. Now this DXF can be customized and it can be exported. The last thing I'm going to take a look at within the connection pad is the results area. Let's go ahead and click on the results icon and I'll be able to see the steel connection results report. Now all of the reports within RAM connection standalone have quick links to different areas within the calculation. Each of the checks will include their interaction ratio, 
the controlling equation and the code reference. If I wanted some additional information for those particular calculations, I can click on the View Formulas icon. What this will do for me is it will show me all the equations that were used to calculate each of these checks, and I'll also be able to check the variables that were used. Now here for this example, I can see that we have achieved a passing connection design. So let's go ahead and close out of the report. Now I did make some changes to this connection. I'd prefer to see my braces welded directly to the gusset plate. So I've made those changes already. Now at this point, if I wanna save those changes, I'm gonna click on the save icon and then I can exit out of the connection pad. Once within the RAM connection standalone interface, I should be able to see my updated connection on screen along with its updated interaction ratio in the joint selection area. At this point, this concludes our process for assigning a column cap brace gusset connection to a joint that is being designed with the AISC 360. If you found this video helpful, please give it a like. If you want to see more such series, consider subscribing to our channel. Thank you, and see you next time.